Hello, and welcome to the new Google Tag Assistant. Today, with an increasingly complex digital marketing ecosystem, Google has a variety of tags to meet your business needs. Whether it's tracking your site visitors with Google Analytics, tracking business goals with AdWords conversion tracking, or creating visitor lists with AdWords remarketing, you need an easy way to test and verify that your Google Tags are written and firing correctly. That's where Tag Assistant comes in, and this training will talk you through its new design and features. Tag Assistant has a sleek new look that makes it easier to scroll through, to spot issues and solutions, ignore irrelevant tags, and test changes on your web page quickly. On the top right corner, you can see the Tag Assistant legend, which explains the issue shown. Green means the tag is firing correctly. Blue means we have a minor suggestion to improve your tagging health. Red means there is a critical error and that your tag is not tracking properly for most users. You should fix these issues as soon as possible. Right below the legend, you can see the total amount of tags we found on your website and how many total errors we viewed. If a tag contains more than one error, it is possible to have fewer red tags than errors. Your list of tags appears in the middle of the extension. You can click on any tag to view more details. For example, this is a floodlight tag, and we can see it is showing an error indication. Just below the tag details, we can see we have two requests in red, meaning that at least one of them has an error. Clicking on the two requests will take us to the specific error. We can move between the requests using the top right arrows. What we need to fix appears at the bottom of this window. For some errors, the information collected by Tag Assistant may help you understand both the issue and the solution. But if you are still not sure, hovering over the issue will show a More Info button, which will open a new view for you that explains the issue further. We can go back to the Request window by clicking this Down arrow. We can then go back to the main menu by clicking on this arrow. Scrolling down, we see a Google Analytics tag in green. Clicking on it will again take us to the Tags data window. This time, we can see not only the data associated with the tag, but also the full tracking code snippet to help you visualize any potential issues. Let's go back to the main window. At the bottom, you can see general notifications or errors that do not necessarily relate to a specific tag but require your attention. Clicking on the question mark will allow you to see more details. Whenever you mouse over a tag or an issue, a new X button appears, which is another new feature. Clicking an X either on a tag or an issue will ignore those elements and hide them until you manually add them back. Since you know your tags the best, this feature will allow you to mute errors that are not important so you get a clearer view of your issues. Once hidden, they no longer count for your total tags and errors. The legend also contains the option to show ignored issues. Uncheck this box and your ignored issue will appear in gray. What if you want to stop ignoring an issue? Not a problem. Where there used to be an X button, there is now a plus button, which will re-enable that tag or issue. The final new feature is the small box that appears at the bottom of the extension. This opens the extension for you in a new window. This is extremely helpful if you work with multiple screens. You can interact with your website while the extension is showing an update on a different screen. That's all for now. We hope you enjoy the new design and new features of Google Tag Assistant. We love hearing your feedback, so feel free to write to us on our community page in Google+. Thank you.